So in this tutorial, we're going to pick up from where we left off in the last tutorial. We were able to search for an artist, which was able to query the Spotify API and get this artist as well. So using the auto suggest feature, we got back all the artists available in the database that, that are Drake in the database of Spotify. So in this tutorial, we're going to be working more on that and we want to be able to use Angular, Angular's routing feature to click on the name of that artist and it should take us to the artist page. So first thing we're going to do is to generate this component that is going to house the artist and also the albums that will be listed on the artist page. Let's go ahead and generate the component for that. So we'll generate the artist component first. Using Angular CLI generator, we can type in, let me go ahead and zoom this one so you guys can see that. So we type in ng generate component. We're also going to need to generate an album in the source folder and inside the app folder we have the artist component and the album component. So inside the album component, we need to create a new file Let's call it album.ts. Also in the artist folder, we need to create a new file. Let's call it artist.ts. So inside the album component, we need, all we need actually from an artist is the ID of the album for us to get all, all of what the album has. We save that and we go into the artist file. We are going to need to import the album that we created because of course, an artist has an album. Some has multiple albums. So we import the album um, class that we just created. We also can export the artist now. So we export class artist and they have a lot of albums. So we're going to make that an array. We, we create an album. So we can now save that. Next thing we need to do is go into the service, the search service that we created from the last tutorial. And inside there, we need to create a method or a function to get an artist and also to get the albums of that artist. And inside here, we need a URL. So we need to create a private variable. Let's call it artist URL. And then we'll go ahead and pass it a type of string as well. So here, we create a URL, almost the same logic as this, except the URL is different this time. So we pass in a URL, say for example, since we already created the artist URL here, so we can say, so we visit the API that Spotify.com, that URL, and then we can check the list of artists. We can pass in the ID of that artist to get that particular artist. So we get this ID, we pass it there, and then we'll be able to return that particular artist. So we write the same function from before. Return this that HTTP the get. We can also write the function for getting the albums. You can copy this again. This is the base URL all the time. So that base URL, this link goes directly to all of the albums by a particular artist and it returns that. So let's go ahead and return it now. We return that by using the same logic from before. So that's all. Now we have created a method to return an artist and we have created a method to get all the albums of that artist. So the next thing we need to do now is to go ahead into the components and use that. So in the component file, Let's go first into the artist component. We're going to be implementing the methods that we wrote for get albums and also for get artist that we have created here. So we're going to need to import some things first, which is we need to import. So now that we're done with that and we can inject into the constructor, the search service as well deactivated well now that we're done with that we go to the ng on in its lifecycle hook and we use the activated route that we've created we map into that return params and then the id and subscribe passing a parameter and then using the search service we can get the artist and then passing this id and again, 
you can subscribe create an art take note that this can be anything it can be a for example and all we need to return here we just be the hey but I just like this for consistency so we're going to get that artist with the IT and then we're going to pass it into the get artist function to get that artist and we will use the activated route to route into that URL so we can just also right away implement for albums we can create for albums by inside that same map function we'll get albums for this artist by using the get albums function that we had from before and we're passing the ID again subscribe to that albums variable and then just save the results inside the albums here so albums albums this item is from the Spotify API so if you read through the documentation you'll find that and that's it we already have these two functions that is going to get us all the get us all the albums of an artist so the next thing to do now will be of course to go check if everything is working fine but not yet the reason being that we do not have a route yet so one of the most important things in this application is that route so we're going to create a route file right here in the app folder and we can call it and inside here we are going to need the ng model we also need the router model we already have the artist component and here we can create a constant of routes the next thing is to export that ng model and we can now go ahead and import this in the app model the ts can import that by and we can add this to now that we're done with that we need to go and test that out in the search see what it gives so we can test this out by for example creating a new tag here which takes in a router link takes in the artist this is the artist that we created here this artist and then also we need to get the ID of that artist which is the variable that the router will be expecting from here so we say result that ID turns the whole list into a link and you can indent this now if you go to the browser and check this out now we we'll search for an artist and we got the mirror it says it cannot find an outlet for the artist so we forgot to provide an outlet we can give that outlet here in the app component which we forgot to provide so if we try to search again now click on that and we see that we were able to go to the artist page but something is off and it's showing exactly on the same page so we're going to fix that but the routing works but not fully so let's go ahead and fix what's going wrong there to fix the mess with the home page we we got the outlet showing on the home page as well as the search so we need to create a separate component which is going to house the home page so let's go ahead to the terminal now in the terminal we'll create again another component and let's just call it home so this creates a separate component called home for us and inside there we have this home, home page works kind of thing and here we can easily just let the app search display on the home page while we let this just handle the router outlet also another thing we need to do is to update our route file which is here in here we're going to make sure that our 
redirect goes to the home page and we also want to create a separate part for the home by itself and use the home page component that is already imported here so we can just copy this and use it here so that fixes the error with the home page so if we save this now, go to the browser, the artist page is working and here the component still remains the same. So if we search now, we were able to visit the artist page. This artist work comes from here, from the artist component and the artist works. Yes, yeah. So the next thing we need to do now is to work on the template for this artist. We have the artist component right here. We have artists here. So we need to use that to display something in the browser. First, we'll check, we'll create a div, check if it has returned an artist for us using the structural directive. So we use this to check if there's an artist at all. If not, it will not return an error. If we don't put that there, we're going to get a bunch of errors. So we can just easily, for a check now, we let, let's return the name of that artist, just to show that we were able to successfully go to that artist page. So going back to the browser, we can return that artist. So we clicked on Drake. We can go back, try to search, and then Drake. So we return Drake. We can also return an image. Let's create an header which houses. We check how, we check first if the artist has an image and if the image is more than one. If yes, then just give us an image and show us the first one in the image. So we're showing the image and also beneath that we can show different genres. So we got the image, we got the name of the artist that we clicked on. Before we go ahead and start doing a lot of templating, we are going to need in the index.html that is in the root folder, we need some libraries. I like to use Bootstrap and Semantic UI. So if you go to the Bootstrap website or the alpha version that is currently being released, we can copy the CSS just use the cdn directly we don't need to npm npm install anything so we can use the cdn as well as we also need semantic ui we can you can just search for semantic ui cdn and we visit this one and we can copy the cdn from here we only need the css so we're just gonna use that so if we save that now we can now begin to style this page we are going to be using some classes from bootstrap and semantic ui so we use this ui try to use a tiny and Secular image just to make it beautiful. So this makes the image small the way it should be. And under there, we want to return the artist name. And after that, we can return the genres of this artist. So we'll first of all, check if the artist has any journal attached to it at all. So we check that if it's greater than zero, we can easily just return the joiners using a span. So again we look through that using the structure directive third joiner of artist.joiners and we can give it a class from semantic UI of UI horizontal label and we can return this journals easily and if we go to the browser now check what is going on and there we we get this so we also need some kind of padding right there but we can introduce that into the index by giving the whole body a container fluid kind of class we save that so that's it next thing we need to do now is to return the list of albums by Drake so let's go ahead and do that we can return a list of albums by Drake by going into artist component.html. Um, I think this video is getting too long, so honestly, I think we should um, save this for the next video. So let's stop this video now and we can continue this in the next video. See you. Thank you.